Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a hockey mixer. Jaspie's 12 box all about the cup hockey mixer. Yes, featuring a box of the cup hockey. Really nice stuff there. All 31 NHL teams are in. No vet commons. Obviously no Kraken in this set because none of these products have the Kraken in there. Eventually it'll be it'll be 32 spot breaks once the new hockey starts to get released. So stick with us all hockey season long. Keep joining our hockey breaks. Big thanks to everybody here for making this happen. Uh, appreciate the people who got their spots straight up. And then congrats again to the winners of these spots here. All the teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams six and a one seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seventh and final time. We got Darren McKenzie all the way down to Steven. Once again, six and a one, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and good luck. Seventh and final time. After seven, we've got the Winnipeg Jets all the way down to the Anaheim Ducks. Darren with the Winnipeg Jets, Matt with the Rangers, Steven with the Flames, Steve with the Wild, Joe with the Blue Jackets, Timothy with the Stars, Mike with the Flyers, Steven with the Maple Leafs, Mike with the Canadiens, Sean with the Coyotes, Steve Birch with the Sharks and the Senators, Sean with the Blackhawks, Robert with the Blues, Josh, Last Spot Mojo with the Red Wings, Jonathan, you got the Islanders, Chris, you got my Kings, William with the Canucks, Rick with the Caps, Mark with the Preds, Brian with the Hurricanes, Matthew with the Tampa Bay Lightning, Sean with the Vegas Golden Knights, Matt with the Penguins, Mike Tower with the Florida Panthers, Josh with the Bruins, Robert with the Avs, David with the Sabres, Leo with the Devils, Jens with the Oilers, and Steven with the Anaheim Ducks. Let's alphabetize by team. And I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we will have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right, welcome back, everybody. Trade window is now closed. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, nothing, nothing really got done. It's all good. So that list remains the same here on a Monday. Our 12 box, all about the cup hockey mixer. So it's been marinating on the site for a little bit. So hopefully, we've turned into some monsters here. All right, so let's start with a couple boxes on the bottom, a little Series 1 on the bottom here. You can see the Cup Hockey box on top. We're obviously going to close with that. Should we go older year first? Yeah, let's go 2019-2020 first as well. We're going to do one of these Synergy boxes later too. Let's roll. Good luck, everyone. So we'll do the base heavy stuff first. And then we'll, as we get towards, towards the top of this little hockey tower here, we'll get closer and closer to the, uh, to the nicer stuff. Now, my hockey knowledge is especially is not very strong aside from the the obvious big names like you know like Connor McDavid and, and I guess Austin Matthews and guys like that maybe some of the bigger old school names but so just bear with me on uh, on pronunciations and and whatnot and uh, no vet common shit but obviously all rookie cards will ship, all inserts will ship, obviously anything serial number, of course, will ship. Um, obviously relics and autographs, those are hits, so those of course will ship. The only thing that won't ship, uh, veteran commons or vet base. 
however you want to call it. Who am I looking for in this year, 2019? The series one has young guns in it, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm looking for pretty much any young gun. Is what you want to see. Any young gun. Good luck. So these are these would be your vet commons that won't be shipping. All right, but that's a young guns that will ship, obviously. So that is for New Jersey. Again, I don't know if this guy is is a big name in the hobby, but the young gun cards are always nice, and maybe they will. They're gonna obviously. That's an insert too, so that will ship the canvas. There's canvas young guns as well. We like Connor McDavid. Connor McDavid will ship. I think. I think even if I miss any, I think there's a standing rule that um, that non-rookie or Connor McDavid base will still ship. Obviously, that's an insert that'll still ship. So on and so forth. I think you get the idea. There's a Rasmus Sandin for the Maple Leafs, Toronto. That's for Steven. Other young guns, and our shipping team will top load those. Just in the interest of time, we're just gonna I'm just gonna sleeve them up. Mark, yes, got some hockey. In fact, we've had a few hockey breaks in a row. Believe it or not. Yes, Sean D. Correct. I think there are some uh, some. French variation cards where it'll have some French text on the back. There's a Brady Keeper for the Panthers, another Young Guns card. Now Mark B is saying, yeah, a good amount of Young Guns become good role players. That's what we want to see. If not, uh, if not a star, there's a uh, Vladisav Gavrikov, Gavrikov for Columbus. Joe Locus with the Blue Jackets. I gave that my best shot. Um, I think it, these checklist cards. We'll do a left-right randomizer on that, and that'll represent any of the other sort of left-right randomizer we may have. There's a canvas right here. There's Ville Heinola for Winnipeg. That's going to be for Daring. Another Young Guns. And a Relic. Upper Deck Game Jersey. John Klingberg. That'll be for Timothy and Dallas. And I'll do a I'll do a relic and autograph recap at the end as well. There's Joel Le Esperance for Dallas. All right, there you go. Box one of twelve. All right, another Series 1 box, this time another a year later, 
Good luck. Now, there are a few hockey games happening today. Um, the Capitals, the Washington Capitals, are in, uh, are in Tampa Bay. About 13 minutes left in the second period. I think the Caps, about a minute into the game, scored a goal. And then I guess later on, Tampa Bay tied it up. It's 1-1 now. a little bit harder to open. Um, also, just starting, Ottawa is uh, Ottawa's in Chicago. That's scoreless right now. And then later tonight will be Seattle in Edmonton. Edmonton's been, been playing really well. Six wins on the season already. And we were talking in the previous break about how... Uh, how the ESPN factor has has helped hockey so much. I think a lot of people are just watching a little more hockey just because a lot of games are on ESPN Plus, and so I think that just creates a lot of exposure for so many of these players that we've been seeing over the years when we've been breaking hockey. With ESPN in so many households. Right, and so many people with the ESPN Plus app, you know, that's just going to eventually create um, just more familiarity between fans and uh, casual fans and big name hockey players, and that'll hopefully eventually trickle down into the hobby. And I know hockey has already sold sold pretty well on the secondary market. But, um, but with the power of ESPN, and if it, with more exposure for players like Connor McDavid, they could get to a point where, I mean, could get to a point where it, it would help the hobby a lot, to really boost their value. That's the plan, and that's the idea anyway. So I suppose you could consider Hockey now, an emerging market. It was already a pretty strong market, but could it grow even bigger? With the ESPN, it probably will. They're broadcasting a lot of games. I'm sure there'll be a lot more coverage on hockey. They'll be talking about it more on, on all their different shows and platforms. I'm sure there'll be hockey specific podcasts and conversations and whatnot. So, so yeah, it should be pretty interesting. There's Carter Hart Dazzlers. I think these are somewhat shorter printed, if I'm not mistaken. Here's a Young Guns canvas, Peyton Krebs for Vegas. That's going to go to Sean Maddock and the Golden Knights. So we got some Monday night football action about to start in the background. Remember, take a look at our website, jazbeescasebreaks.com, and take a look at our uh, Monday night football bounty promo. Yeah, Mark's right, especially when hockey playoffs are and Hockey playoffs are pretty exciting. This one's for Calgary. That'll be for Stephen P. Yeah, I'm sure once the playoff hockey starts to roll around, and some of these bigger names, hopefully the bigger names will be in the playoffs. That's going to help the hobby too. This is for Chicago. This is going to be for Sean Maddock. There's Keith Yandel. Relic for Florida, that's going to be for Mike Tower.
Daniel, when does Mosaic Baseball break three ship? If you click the schedule in the chat, there is a uh, shipping tab on there, and you can see what uh, whenever your break, whatever date your break broke, you can uh, take a look at that date and see what the status is. I did see that Eric Jennings. I think uh, I think someone mentioned that a few days ago. It's Connor McMichael, Young Guns. And there's Connor McDavid. And Gabe Velarde for the Kings. Yeah, somehow I don't think Pete is going to get very far with uh, them trying to get get the MLB to change the name from bullpen to like, what was it one of the suggestions? Arm Farm maybe? Tyler Benson, Young Guns for Edmonton. It's a cool looking shot right there. And an autograph. Signature sensations, Tyler Johnson for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Who's got Tampa Bay? That's going to go to Matthew. Matthew D with a D Lightning. Debut dates. Morgan Gecki for Carolina. That's going to go to Brian Croft. And that's another box of Series 1 in the books. A lot of Young Guns cards and an auto. Let's get into the next box here. What about some extended series? I guess there's Young Guns cards in here as well. Same year though. I guess is this like a series two or an update? Is that their is this their version of update? So more young guns in here. Let's keep chasing the young guns. Tampa Bay up two one now. Your score, your scoring update. Sorry if you DVR this game for later. But we are we are a live show. That's what we're gonna have to do. Um, who's got the goals? I don't know who has the goals. Oh, it was a power play goal. A goal by Anthony Sorelli. Giving the Lightning a 2-1 lead. It's actually Monday Night Football, wasn't on. I think I might be watching this game. This is the 5-0-3 oh, Capitals and the 4-3-1 and one Tampa Bay Lightning. Good matchup. Uh, is Eric saying extended his upper deck's attempt to keep capitalizing on Lexi Lafreniere? All right. Okay, let's, let's put another version out here. Big 
really put a lot of uh, a lot of extra adhesive on these packs. Chiefs seem to be moving the ball nicely against the Giants defense. Oh wow, he dances his way to a first down, Tyree Kill. Let's roll. Connor Mackey, Young Guns. Hayden Verbeek, Young Guns. And this right here is the, uh, I think the French variation of this? Yeah. And that will be for Montreal. That's going to go to Mike Tower. Connor Mackey goes to Calgary. That's going to be for Steven. There's out of a thousand, David Pasternak for Boston, Josh. There's an Arthur Kaliev for the Kings. I do like the the Laker, the old Lakers colors on the Kings jersey. That'll be for Chris Perrin and the Kings. Here we got Bowen Byron. It's a cool looking insert. Connor McDavid, the victory insert. Third and goal, Mahomes throwing, throwing, bounced up in the air, interception. Wow. That's, that's crazy, just the amount of, how many of those Mahomes turnovers have just been unlucky like that? start. That's to 100 Thomas Hurdle. Another Young Guns card this time for San Jose. Another McDavid. Austin Matthews. More young guns. It's time for Columbus. And that's the end of extended series.
Yeah, Eric saying it's a shame the new TV that ain't shows only twice a week on ESPN and TNT, one night for each channel. Well, the whole slate of games though is on ESPN Plus, which I think is kind of cool. But hopefully it's just, I mean, baby steps, right? Hopefully they'll start they'll start building up to uh, to more nights. All right, a couple boxes of metal universe. Laser die cuts. We've done a lot of these. I feel like, I feel like once I uh, acetate cards, once I open these up, I'll kind of refresh my memory on the cool stuff that we can get. Like that. Was there a clear cut Young Guns? No, there was an acetate card. I don't think it was a Young Guns card, though. Did I maybe I set it aside already? It wasn't a young it was not a young guns card though. Alright. Onwards. Yeah, Mark well, I mean, is it the beginning of the season anymore for the Chiefs? We're in week eight already. Oh, Daniel Jones intercepted. Gives it right back. Well, now Kansas City, you gotta score. You gotta score a touchdown here. You gotta take advantage of that. I know, right? Yeah, I mean, I keep thinking, oh, this is like week four. <laughs> no, now it's our week eight. We're already halfway through the season. Even even with a 17, with an extra week, it's still, we're still pretty much right in the middle. Wait, isn't there a Manning cast at this game? Why am I watching the regular broadcast? I don't need to listen to the regular dudes. Let's give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, uh, give me John Stewart. Give me Peyton. Give me Eli. Mahomes drops back. No, he has, to, he has to throw it away. There's an autograph. That's uh, Gage Quinney for the Vegas Golden Knights. Is he good? Yeah, if there was a Young Guns card that I missed, yeah, shipping will definitely, will definitely catch it. Yeah, they'll def they'll definitely get it. Yeah, PMGs is what we're looking for in here.
Charles Mark Shifley. Net deposits. And here's our first PMG, Precious Metal Gems. Elias Pedersen, Vancouver Canucks. That's going to be for William. Those, these cards look pretty cool. Skybox. All right. Got one more. Ooh, one left in the jersey saying, Al, yeah, let's do that. It's not part of tonight's promo, but it's definitely a fun break that we can do. about another I think half an hour to go in this break but we're, we're finally getting getting the heavier base stuff out of the way and we'll start getting into the smaller boxes here and then we'll finish off with with the cup hockey that's that's the that's the whole reason for this break Horvat, Vancouver Canucks, William with Vancouver, got, got the this hockey spot straight up, this mixer spot straight up, gets randomized, Vancouver, ends up with Bo. Eric saying uh, Christian Pulisic is finally playing again tomorrow. U.S. Yes, there's a qualifier next week. That's, that should be a good game. Good qualifier. In the next World Cup qualifier against Mexico. That should be a fun match. Yeah, and, and Christian Pulisic playing well would be hashtag good for the hobby. We want to see more of that. Kind of a cool looking card right here, the prospects card. Not sure how. It, oh, there's the number right there. 29 out of 50. I was like, I'm pretty sure that's number. There it is. 29 out of 50 on that one. That'll be for San Jose. It's going to go to Steve Birch. Here's a picture. I mean, look at those quads. I, mean, I got two questions for you real quick. 
All right, we got an Alexi Lafreniere insert, net deposits insert for the Rangers. That's going to be from Matt Buckler. And there's a Connor McDavid for the Oilers. A lot of McDavid's going to be heading out to Jens and Edmonton. All right, uh, let's get let's get into some synergy. Let's do the older synergy first. Who ended up scoring that touchdown for? Uh, For Kansas City, I don't think I, I don't think I caught that. Ah, it was a Tyreek Hill touchdown. Nice. Oh, I remember this about. Thanks, Ralph. Yeah, and I remember this about synergy from this year. The packaging just falls apart in your hands. All right, so with that uh, that passing touchdown from Patrick Mahomes, ladies and gentlemen, if you were keeping track of our Monday Night Football promo, we got $500 of break credit added. Uh, that's for the name on top. Due to the Mahomes passing touchdown. So if you go to the break schedule, check out the list of breaks that are eligible for the promo. So for now, there's only, I mean, the people that are in the, the three breaks that have filled, they're, they're thinking, I hope no other breaks fill. So my odds are better to win $500 of break credit at the very least. Name on top for now, we'll get $500 of break credit. The next event that happens will be the second name down. Usually when we do these bounty promos, there's at least... Three, three to five, maybe, bounties that hit. That's a lot of money we're giving away, too. So check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Details are there. You can click, click on the break schedule, click the schedule tab, or the Monday Night Football, the MNF tab right there as well. A lot of places you can look. We're going to lead off with Connor McDavid right there on top. Kirby Doc to $9.99. There's Libor Hajek to $7.99, Patrick Kane to $8.99, Jimmy Schultz to $3.99, Patrick Kane to $7.99. Right and we got a cast for greatness. Nice, a little metal plate right here. That's pretty awesome. Austin Matthews, I've heard of him. Toronto, that'll be for Stephen P. There's Eric Barnstrom to eight ninety nine. Gignac to one ninety nine. Quinn Hughes to eight ninety nine. Connor McDavid. Philippe Myers to nine ninety nine, and Brad Marchand. A lot of numbered cards and synergy. All right, onwards to the following year, next year of synergy.
recipe. This packaging is a lot better. They made the improvement. They got, I'm sure they got the feedback. And they're like, yeah, we gotta fix this. All right, Rookie Journey, Alexi Lafreniere right there. Oh, and an autograph. The Lafreniere is to $7.99, Rangers. Who's got the New York Rangers? That'll be from Matt Buckler. He won that spot in a synergy break. Got randomized the Rangers and gets the Lafreniere to $7.99, which might go for probably a lot more than people may think. Here's the autograph, rookie auto for the Blackhawks, Alec Regula. Chicago, that's going to be for Sean Maddock. He also won that spot. There's Gabe Velarde. There's Zach Wierenski to 749. That's to 899. Nicholas Bodine. Tyler Benson to 749 for the Oilers. You got a Jake Evans to 749. To 349, Steven Stomkos. Dreisaitl to 749. Bergeron to 999. Zabenyad to 99. Hey, this is a pretty cool Rangers edition of Gretzky. Bowen Byram to 749. And Vasilevsky at the very end here. All right, we're getting closer and closer to the cup. Let's do uh, let's do credentials first, I guess. Yeah, this has the most packs in here. We'll do credentials first. I think Clearco only has one thing in there, so. Is there a way for us to unblock your debit card? Your bank just confirmed they're not blocking it, so it must be the merchant. The way, there's no way for us to block your cards. We don't even have your card information stored in our system. From our perspective, we don't we don't want to block cards at all. But um, here's a Julian Gautier to six ninety nine. I guess you can try contacting us by a, but I think you'll get the same answer from our team. Yeah, can you send us uh, send us a message to support and let us know? But but we're not we're not in the habit of I don't even a I don't even know how. There's Cabo Caco for the Rangers to ninety nine, and B there'd be no reason for us to do it. Um, but I guess give us a heads up on support. Is anyone else having issues like Bryn in the chat?
And there's our autograph, Nathan Bastian. Debut ticket access autograph to 299. On card auto for New Jersey. That'll be for Leo. This has how many packs? This is four premium cards per box. This is four premium cards per pack. And maybe we'll do this one first, SPX. I did not see. There's a Bubba Fett trailer that's out. Could be interesting. Interesting show. I do enjoy the Star Wars. Good luck. Let's see what we got here. First one out of the gate is Lustrous Rookies. Gage Quinney. 38 out of 125 for the Vegas Golden Knights. Wow, that's a really sharp looking card. It's another one for Vegas. That goes to Sean Maddock. I, don't, I mean, I don't know if he's good, but I hope he is. It's a good looking card, though. We've got a Connor McMichael. SPX rookie jersey at Relic going to Rick and the Caps. And then we have a Obsidian rookie to 349, another Gage Quinney. It's a Vegas box. Ooh, just came out today. I'll have to check that out, Eric. And the last one here is a Jack Hughes, Quinn's brother, for New Jersey. New Jersey, that'll be for Leo. Chronology. Behind Anthony Mantha is a Theorin Fleury for the Calgary Flames. 11 out of 25. Chronology, two-color patch, and on-card autograph. That looks really sharp. Steven with Calgary. Got another autograph, Josh Bailey, New York Islanders. Who's got the Isles? That'll be for Jonathan, Jonathan Arnaldi. And Jonathan Taves time capsule for Chicago. You can rip that if you want to. That goes to Chicago. That'll be for Sean. Chad, I'm ready for your noob question. How do you do multi-year mixers with expansion teams, aka your Seattle Kraken? Easy. We just add the Kraken to the multi-year mixer. And then you'll just know that some boxes just won't have the Kraken. Well, we'll probably combo the Kraken with another team is what we'll probably do. All right, and it's a King's autograph. It's Blake Lazat, 10 out of 10. It's a cool looking card. I feel like he's been playing pretty decently this season. Chris Parent with my Kings. I, I follow the Kings. There you go. Nice. Cup hockey time. <laughs> That's 
<laughs> that's what I would say. No, but it's just it's like there are some there are probably some years where Vegas isn't in some older sets, right? So it's just something that it's just something that you just have to just look at the list of boxes and just be aware of. And if we're doing a lot of current year boxes or like next year boxes, I guess, then we probably wouldn't have to combo up the crack and there'd be enough boxes that would have enough crack and stuff. So I guess it'll just depend on the different years in the mixer. All right, final box. It's all about the cup. And this is it right here. Good luck, everybody. First one out of the gate is going to be Brad Marchand, 22 out of 249. And that'll be for Boston. That'll go to Josh. Next up is Ryan Paling, 112 out of 249, three color patch and auto. That is for Montreal, the Canadiens. That's gonna go to Mike Tower. There's Alexander Volkov, 17 out of 24. It's for Tampa Bay. That's gonna go to Matthew. Yeah, that's probably exactly what we do, Chad. In the case where there is a box with the crack in it, but what did we? Do? I'm trying to think what we did when the Golden Knights were around. Hmm. Wow, wow, Bobby Hull. I've heard of him. Old school Chicago Blackhawk gold ink autograph. That's for Sean Maddock. Brilliant. Couple more here. We've got a Nick Suzuki. Inked insignias. That looks really sharp. 57 out of 75. Logo and on-card autograph. Montreal Canadiens Mike Tower. And the last one, usually just a relic? No, this time relic and autograph. Honorable relic and autograph. Alexander Radulov, hand numbered six out of 47 for Dallas. That is gonna go to Tim. Nice finish, nice box. Thanks everybody for getting in, I appreciate it. You know what we did, Chad? I think some of the, when the Vegas Golden Knights first came into the league and we were doing hockey mixers, there were some mixers where if there was only like one box of the current year, I think we would actually, in some instances, we even gave away the team. I don't know. We'll probably figure out different ways to do it, but just to make it fair and make sure it evens out. All right, gang. Thank you very much. That was the 12-box All About the Cup hockey mixer. I'm going to do a recap in just a second, but first we're going to do a left-right randomizer for those uh, dual player cards in Series 1 and Extended. So let's flip back to random.org. There's some new dice, there's left, right. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Five and a three, eight times, side on top, gets it. After, uh, after eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, left side will get him. So the left side teams will get those cards. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Um, and I'll see you next time for the next hockey break. Bye-bye.